Back in September, a South Korean filmmaker won not one, but two major awards at one of the world's most prestigious animation film festivals. Filmmaker Kim Gangmin won the Nelvana Grand Prize for Independent Short and the Public Prize at the Ottawa International Animation Festival for his stop-motion animation, Gum. This was the very first time for a South Korean to take home any awards and only the third time in the festival's history that the same film won both the public prize and the grand prize as well. I'm pleased and honoured to say that we have the director, Kim Kang-min, with us here in the studio for this week's Touch Basins Hall. Director Kim, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me today. First, I'd like to say congratulations on an amazing achievement. How did you feel when you found out that you won... You uh, won the prize for your film, Gun, uh, not just one, but two major prizes. Uh, thank you so much. Ottawa is one of the biggest and important animation festival in North America. So actually, I didn't expect any award. It was actually my dream, winning the big prize in the major film festival. Mm. And actually, they told me I won public prize first before the award ceremony. They didn't tell me about the grand prize. <laughs> so they just keep telling me, hey, Kangmin, wait here, don't go anywhere. Mm. So oh, maybe something happening to me. And when they <laughs> announced the grand prize, mm. we did the award ceremony uh, through the Zoom right, because of, of the COVID. Mm. And my two kids and my wife also were there. And we... Everybody just screamed, and my jaw <laughs> just dropped, and I almost cried. Mm. But suddenly, I realized that I can submit GUM to Oscar next year, because mm. Oscar only uh, accept award-winning short film mm. from Oscar Qualified Festival. So I thought, wow, this is a pretty big award. Oh, okay. So you're now in the running f- for at least uh, putting your film f- forward for the Oscars then? Yes, yeah, so every year there are so many, uh, not so many, but many uh, Oscar qualified festival in the world. Mm. And award winning festival only can submit to the Oscar. Mm. So they're going to select 10 short film first, and then five film going to be nominated. Okay, so mm. when do you find out then whether you'll be Oscar nominated or not? I think maybe next uh, March mm. they're going to announce 10 film first. And then April, I believe April, they're going to announce nomination. Right, because the Oscars have been delayed for next year, haven't they, because of the COVID-19 situation. Yes. Normally it happens around uh, the early of the year, like January, February. But this year, uh, for next year, they're taking it uh, later, April, May, that time, mm-hmm, I understand. Mm-hmm. OK, so your film could be Oscar nominated then. So, <laughs> tell, so. Us, tell us more about the film then. It's called Gum, which in English means dream. Can you describe the film for us? What is it about? Yeah, Gum means uh, dream in Korean. Gum is a nine-minute uh, stop-motion short film about my mother's dream mm. and love. Mm. It is a true story. I'm the only child in my family, and I'm living in L.A., and my family is in Korea right now. So my mother worries about me too much, too much. Mm. Every night, she has a dream at mm. night, and almost every day, she sends me a message. Hey, son, is everything all right? And she told me about her gum. Mm. Her dreams have always been a pretty strong premonitions for mm. important moment in my life. And her dreams are so accurate. That is why I have to rely on her dreams. It's like, it's, it is more important than any religion. And I thought that using her dreams could be a unique idea for film. Mm. That is why I made Gum. So your mom has these prophetic dreams about you. Sometimes uh, she worries about you. Sometimes I'm guessing good things. Did she see the film? How did she react to it? Yeah, she saw the f- actually the film uh, years ago, and <laughs> she couldn't react at first. She used to like my previous film because mm. the uh, my previous film are more like bright and colorful. But Gum is a black and white film. She couldn't catch any beauty from black and white. Right, mm-hmm. okay. I think she couldn't quite follow my film. Mm. But 
the grand prize uh, award changed her mind. <laughs> <laughs> so now that your film is an award-winning one, she likes yeah. it now. Yeah. And for her, it was a difficult to uh, kind of a, a digest, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Can you tell us a little bit more about your journey into filmmaking as well? How did you start? I didn't plan to be a filmmaker at first time. I was an international student, and that means I need to finish my thesis film to graduate school. Mm. And then the thesis film changed my life. I traveled so many different places with my film, and I could communicate with many, so many different people who have different language, different culture, different background. And it was amazing because... It was so easy to communicate with new people through my film. And I thought, wow, this is the real communication that I really wanted to have. So it wasn't when you were a small child that you wanted to become a director or filmmaker, but something you found out, discovered later. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, so through that then, you were a filmmaker, but then how did you get into animation? How did you decide to do that kind of filmmaking? Uh, actually, I wanted to be a live-action filmmaker, mm. and but my portfolio. I, actually, I did graphic design in Seoul, Korea, and my portfolio are all about the animation and motion graphic. And my teacher actually recommend me, "Hey, why don't, why don't you study animation?" Mm. So, hmm, yeah, my, I think that could work for me because if I go to the LA to be a live-action filmmaker. It is too dangerous. I mean, I don't have any connection. I don't have mm. any budget. But for stop motion, I don't need to have many budget and time because I can make miniature in my on my desk. Mm. I can create what I want more easily, more quickly. So when you first started doing stop motion, you were doing it by yourself almost? Yes. Okay, from your home, from your home studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you always think that stop motion was going to be the art form, the, the form of animation that you continue into, that you continue doing? Yeah, I, I like to continue uh, working on stop motion film because I really like the to see the object and material through the camera viewfinder. Mm. It looks fascinating. It looks so different. They have a beautiful texture and beautiful color on it. And I really like to use that texture on my film. But the most important reason why I like to keep working on stop motion is uh, I cannot predict anything. There is always something new coming up and it doesn't have any final answer. Mm. And I'm always learning new things from the process. That is why I like stop motion. Stop motion always looks so challenging to me. It's Mm -hmm. got to be very uh, detail-oriented. It can be quite slow. How do you find that challenge? Do you enjoy that process? Yes, Mm. I really like the process. And there is another reason why I like the stop motion process is, so usually we use a digital computer process for pre-production and post-production. And production, I usually use my body, my hand. So it has a perfect balance between my body and digital work. Mm. That is also why I like stop motion. I understand you're now based in L.A. Mm-hmm. How did you get to L.A.? You, are, uh, you grew up, uh, you're raised here in Korea, you studied here in Korea. Mm-hmm. But then what made you go to L.A.? So when I started uh, graphic design in Seoul, Korea, there was a time of the uh, golden age of motion graphic. So I wanted to study motion graphic or animation. So I went to school in L.A. to study animation, film, and history, new culture, And I could have built uh, my career in L.A. because L.A. has quite strong stop motion community Mm. and also big animation industry. So I could find uh, more good opportunity there. And you talked about how you wanted to uh, connect with other people and uh, work with other people. Being in L.A., I guess, helps that. What kind of people do you work with? Uh, I know... You said when you first started, you made, started making stop motion by yourself in your home studio. Mm-hmm, but I'm mm-hmm. guessing now there's a bigger team involved. Yes. Uh, if I have more budget or when I work for the commercial, maybe TV commercial, we usually have a lot of different uh, departments. 
such as a character department, camera department, and design team, and director, producer, client, agency. There are so many different people out there, and I really like to work with different people and like to communicate with them, even though mm. my English is very short. They usually say, hey, k a n g m i n your English is totally fine. <laughs> and I really like to work with yeah, new people, many teammates. Can you give us a hint of some future projects that you're working on now? Yeah, uh, I'm working on a documentary project with the director Oliver Stone. Wow. And it's about a nuclear energy. Mm. As, uh, so I'm doing a uh, design and animation. So it's like... It's going to be the combination with live action free, freeze and animation freeze. So I'm doing an animation part. And also I'm developing my next short film, Kneebone. That's the title. Kneebone. Kneebone, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the bone in your knee, okay. Yeah. And Is yeah, that again a personal story? It sounds personal. Yes, it's also about my family. Right, mm. okay. And then, like I mentioned before, I need to do an Oscar campaign with... my distributor and publicist to get nominated. Right. For our listeners, I think we'll be at least putting up photos or possibly a link to the trailer of Goom on our social media pages, so they should check that out. But uh, for anyone else who wants to find out more about director Kim's other works, they should check out the website studiozazak.com. That's Z-A-Z-A-C, uh, where we can find out more about Kim's works. Uh, we've been speaking to the director, Kim Gang-min, for Touch Base in Seoul. Thank you for coming today, and good luck on your Oscar campaign as well. <laughs>